Beyond national borders, North Korea's state-run media claims the regime has successfully conducted a ground test of a solid fuel engine for hypersonic missiles. Our defense correspondent Chen Minjong tells us what this means. North Korea has claimed success in a ground test of a solid fuel engine for a new medium to long-range hypersonic missile. The North Korean Central News Agency reported Wednesday that Pyongyang conducted the test at a launching station near the west coast the day before under the supervision of leader Kim Jong-un. Kim reportedly expressed great satisfaction with what he called the successful completion of the strategic weapons development plan presented back in 2021. Hypersonic missiles are among the list of weapons Kim vowed to develop within five years after the plan was announced. The regime conducted its first ground test of the engine last November. In January this year, the North test-fired a solid-fuel IRBM tipped with a hypersonic warhead. Experts say Tuesday's engine test was carried out as part of efforts to correct flaws discovered then. The launch in January did not have a sufficient flight range despite it being a medium to long range missile. They had to verify once again that it can fly up to a range of about 3,500 kilometers. So it appears that they increased the combustion time of the rocket's first stage to increase the flight range. The North appears to have conducted the engine test on the ground instead of test firing a missile this time to avoid tensions with Japan. North Korea is currently showing relative restraint in firing in the direction of Japan's exclusive economic zone. Although we still have to wait and see, we can see that this is ultimately a sign of caution and consideration in preparation for future dialogue with Japan. Hypersonic missiles are designed to travel at more than five times the speed of sound and often maneuver at relatively low altitudes, making them harder to detect and intercept. While North Korea's ICBMs are mainly designed to reach the U.S. mainland, this IRBM can be seen as a weapon system with the main purpose of targeting U.S. military bases in Guam or Japan. Eyes are on whether the North will soon test launch a hypersonic medium to long-range missile equipped with Tuesday's newly tested engine. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.